So this is my real hair. And by the texture of it, by the way you feel, even the way it looks, it's just literally identical to the set that they sent me. And I'm really shocked. It happened because it was cut previously and I reattached it and it fell off. Plus we have an extension that we're gonna be using. There is a missing dreadlock right here, a big old missing piece. I twisted my actual hair to this locks and then crochet needled it. Be careful not to put this in your nail also cause that will hurt. I was able to get it done. Now palm roto, that's the end of it. Today I have something new for you guys, as you guys have seen on the thumbnail. I'm gonna be adding an extension to my hair. And besides that, I'm gonna be trying to test it out if this extension can actually endure it, as just my hair can endure a lot of bleaches. Have you seen how many bleaches I applied to my hair? So we're gonna test if this can do that. Let's get into it. You guys can see in the white color that is the stock a eight inches to 18 inches and the link should be in the description for that and then you see it on the red is the stock b and it is 0.8 centimeter thickness and also they have a different sizes and different colors for that and then they have a 0.6 centimeter also if you want a thinner which is the color green and then we got the afro kinky bulk for dreads which you can apply for any thin dreadlocks any external additional hair if you have a thin hair that's struggling you need this buddy go get it i'm really amazed by how these ones came out I mean, wow, like look how this looks so real. Uh, the skinniness of it is just great because most of you guys have skinny dreadlocks. And if you guys don't have skinny dreadlocks, you guys can actually add this to it. I mean, this company is amazing. This is like legit there. Like I'll show you what my hair look like right now because I've had some dreadlocks that got cut off. So this is my real hair right here. And by the texture of it, by the way it feels, even the way it looks, is just literally identical to the set that they sent me. And I'm really shocked by it, because there's no difference between these. If it was just mixed in like this, you would've noticed which one it was, till I pull it out and show you which one it is. I'm even surprised by how the bleach came out. This is the bleach that I have, and of course this is doubled bleach, like twice. You bleach it twice to get this result, and they have that. Like what? Like, are you kidding me? Like this is what the double bleach look like. It's a light blonde, not platinum blonde, but enough blonde to apply any kind of color so that you can get a result like my hair. You see my hair, for example, I've had blue hair, green hair, silver hair, half and half, and I was able to accomplish it with two bleach. Think about using a another people hair to accomplish that. Like that's just amazing. If you guys want a really light blonde, if you guys like really blonde, especially I've seen this with a lot of females, they like really blonde, silver blonde, and this is what that is. So from here to go to silver is so simple. I know men, you, you may not be prideful in applying extension, but trust me, there will come a time like mine where you need to test out what your dreadlocks would look like if you were to have one. So this is your best option to get. Those of you guys that have damages, you guys are able to fix your hair with these. Like you can see in this video, she's locked in love, was able to revive somebody's dreadlock to get the result that she was looking for. And that is to make the roots stronger, to make the locks stronger and healthy. So for those of you guys that struggle with skinny dreadlocks, this is your best option really. As you can see from this hair pattern, this is a 4B, 4A hair type, and the curliness is really, really tight. And so you're able to pass on rocking this. And even if you're in the threes or twos, you're able to get away with these rather than getting something that looks like this. This is actually one of the dreadlocks that I sold online. And it's not it, this is not it. <laughs> even if you have straight hair, why would you get this? Like this thing could get torn apart versus my hair being bleached twice versus this being bleached twice and this being bleached just the same way as mine. Look at the difference, look at the neatness. It just looks so neat, just like mine. And they even tighten it pretty tight. And that's why you can see no frizz whatsoever. I mean, you can see some frizz, but like compared to what normal hair would look like or extension hair, that's no frizz, buddy. And if you wanted to see another extension from a different place and a different hair type, is this right here and it doesn't even look good what would i put this in my hair it doesn't look neat it doesn't look like it's made well it just seems fake versus this man i'll put this in my hair right now just feels look good plus they send you a rat tail comb that comes with it 
And this rat tail comb is one of the necess necessity things that you need to have when you are doing dreadlocks, braids, different things, stylist, section out your hair, everything like that. You need a rat tail comb and also sometimes even to comb out some of the locks. In addition to that, they give you crochet needle to help you lock it up. Now, these ones are 0.75. Links should be in the description if you guys wanna cop any of these. These are all available for you guys to get. The only reason I brought on this is because I'm applying it. If something that I wouldn't apply, you know guys, I've never brought on any extension company or any Chinese companies or anything like that. But this is actually a really good company and I think it's owned in the States also. So they're able to deliver really fast. I mean, they told me and I got here like the next day. The other thing is I wouldn't recommend any anybody to get anything that I wouldn't use. So this is going to my hair. So I recommend you guys to check them out, link in the description. And if you were to cop anything, let me know how it turns out for you because I know it will be a great result. I forgot to go over this and this is a very very dark blonde and this is basically when you dye your hair for like literally just 15 seconds. <laughs> well let, more than that but like literally short amount of time and this is the color it comes out to. A lot of you guys have your tips looking like this and if you were to do the rest of your hair this is what it would look like. What your future of your locks would look like and that's what I'm gonna do right now. Put it through the test and the test will be taking one of these locks, putting it in the bleach, and making it look like mine, and adding it to my hair. That's literally the test. So let's see if they can pass. So the rule of bleach is if you're applying one cup, you wanna apply two ounces of this. So the ratio will be one to two. So I'm applying just a little bit. I don't need to waste it because I have already one that looks like my hair that I can use it from. But I wanna test out if this one will work, and I'm gonna add it to my hair. I set a 25 minute timer to test out how well this will end up coming out. As you guys know, I've had a recent fallout of it happened because it was cut previously and I reattached it and it fell off. So today we have an extra help also to help out hold the hair pretty stronger. Plus we have an extension that we're gonna be using from this company below. Link should be in the description for all these products right here. The part that's missing on my hair is literally on the side of my hair. So you can't, you can't see it from here, you know? Like if I turn around or anything like that, unless it's poking out, you can't see it. But there is a missing dreadlock right here. If you look deep enough, you will find a big old missing piece. And it may be hard to find sometimes because I do, I do twist it with the hair right next to it so that it doesn't go anywhere else. So with this hair, I'm gonna be splitting it into two, sectioning it out, combing it out right now to get it prepared for the dreadlock. We're waiting on the dreadlocks to be bleached so we can have them ready to be attached. But while we wait, of course, I'm gonna start right now combing out my hair because I know they all like together right now. They literally a dreadlock right now. I'm gonna apply some moisture conditioner right now and then I'm gonna go down to combing it out because it's good to have it, some kind of moisture helping you out so that your hair don't fall apart because you're just snatching your hair out. Give it some moisture so it can smooth out the process so you can get your dreadlocks untangled. Detangled. You get my point. We got Contour Shea Butter uh, Conditioner, Coconut Curling Cream. So we're gonna be using that. It's my wife's. Okay, hair is separated into two categories now. Now I wanna make sure that the roots is good and it's not missing any hair from the neighbors, you know? Sometimes the neighbors like to bark in another neighbor and like yell at them and different things. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. The only hair that came out was this right here. So this is not bad at all actually for combing out a little bit of dreads. Uh, I know if it was a whole dreads, it would be a different story, but this is good. I'll take this. I'm gonna go wash out the conditioner and also drying it out because for this process of you adding another hair, you want it as dry as possible so that there is more friction so that it can hold each other. You don't want it too wet and stuff like that because it would literally slide out, especially adding conditioner to it. So I'm gonna dry it out, then come back to applying the new dry lock to my hair. So as you guys can see, my hair is literally curly as heck. Y'all see that? <laughs> see that? That's a curly hair. 
and then the extension that we got look exactly like my hair all right guys this is what it came out to be like after one bleach like i mentioned before uh for, for most of you guys to have your tip dyed it looks like this color because you only did it once and if you were to apply it another time a second time the bleach will actually make it look like the lighter blonde that i have which is this so this is the goal that we are going for and we need to apply it one more time or even two, uh, another time two times to do it because these drill locks are holding tight so it's hard to get the bleach in through the drill lock inside the drill lock instead of waiting for the other bleach to keep on going uh i have to leave and stuff like that i got other things to do i can't wait so i'm gonna be using actually uh this tool that looks just like my old uh bleach before i had a uh, green make sure it's added pretty well so almost as if they're tangling to each other we blend them together and as you do it you keep on twisting all right guys this is the progress of the hair uh, what I ended up doing actually is that I twisted my actual hair to this locks and then crochet needled it and that's why you can see it throughout the whole thing twisted and also crochet needled uh, for a fine work you want to grab just one not three perfect it and be careful not to put this in your nail also because that will hurt and uh, if you want to make it you know blend in you have extra hair to make it blend in uh, which I'm gonna do that right now and also add an external hair to this but I'm doing it in a different place so I'm gonna take you guys there So yeah, that's what it looks like. But I do not like the way it's uh, not fully blending in. So I'm gonna grab the extra hair that they give and I'll make it seamless. That's the word. Um, all I'm doing is just twisting on top of it to where I want my dreadlocks, the black one to end and where I want the bleached hair to start. So now we're going to palm roll it. To make it very solid. Ah, there's some. You can see. But, see on the brighter side though, looks realistic. What do you think, Bips? Does my hair look like... Looks realistic. This one looks realistic right here because it fades like really good right here. Really because, good, huh? Because because you did it yeah. short up here and long up here, mm -hmm. so it looks like it faded. See guys, I'm telling y'all man, that extra additional hair, that's what it made it happen. So without that, I would just be lost looking like this buddy right here. Where's that? Yeah, yeah, this right here. Now when I add the additional hair, you can literally make it look like it's fading out. Yeah because you just apply less hair on the bottom than what you do right here. So this is pretty thick and that's why I have to palm roll it. And then this needs a retwist. So all we have to do is twist that for our next retwist and then put it in a hairstyle. You will start feeling some, you know, uh, knots, but you want to come in with the crochet needle and make sure that it's a tight knot and not just a bubble, you know? Yeah, so let's add the last one and then we're good to go. On the next video, I'm gonna be washing my hair. So you guys will see how strong this thing will last. 
uh, in my hair, being how I put it. If you guys end up questioning my ability to put it on here. So I usually start from the from where it ends. So that it could be very lighter right there. And then I'm gonna work my way up and make it pretty thick up there. Missing just right here and I can fix it. But yeah, guys, this is the end result. I'm super proud of what I was able to accomplish because this is my first time actually putting an extension on my hair. I've actually put my own hair, so not extension, but my own hair. So I kind of had a little knowledge of it. And this three prong, bruh, is hitting. <laughs> like, is it called three prong? Yeah, it's hitting, bro. Like, whoa. Like, it does the job really fast and quick. And so I was able to get it done. That palm roll, though, that's the end of it. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the whole entire look, this review, make sure you check out the shop at Amazon. It's literally on Amazon. And everybody's just like bum rushing to it because it's real here. And everybody's literally buying this stuff left and right, left and right. You guys are seeing it on everybody's videos because the company is really doing a good job at it. Check out the link in the description. I recommend it. If I don't try it, I wouldn't recommend it to you. If I don't believe in it, I wouldn't make you believe in it. So that's how it is. Anybody that I put out here, you guys know me. So thank you guys for watching this video. Till next time, keep back to the universe and create your universe. Peace out.